we are getting a 24 year old man and progressive pain low back ache and buttock pain for last many months pain is severe in the morning hours fades as the day progresses pain is relieved with warm shower or over the counter analgesic associated symptom include stiffness but the patient has no fever no gi symptoms no trauma no illness vitals normal and there is a limited range of move, movement in the spinal lumbar spine muscle strength is normal deep tendon reflexes are plus 2 x ray finding in the image is given below oh yes now these patient are the greatest risk of developing what problem answer is anterior uveitis well this there are certain points i have written here also in fact this is a case of ankylosing spondylitis point in favor is young age 24 year low back ache limited range of lumbar spine movement they are all going in favor of so called ankylosing spondylitis but we cannot ignore this word woman why i have written this word specially this one point which could have distracted your mind because in our mind we know that ankylosing spondylitis is much more common in males as compared to female that is true but do not forget that this disease can occur in female also although uncommonly this is the point the highlight of this question okay now things are very clear can it be coarctation no hypertension ruled out episcleritis this is seen in rheumatoid arthritis now come the question to you write down the answer in your copy which i ka uh, abnormality occur in ankylosing spondylitis that means what pathology occurs which is classical of ankylosing spondylitis write down the answer in your copy answer is uveitis ischemic optic neuropathy this occur in joint cell uh, arthritis so called cranial arthritis obstructive lung disease is in anka in ankylosing spondylitis we get restrictive lung disease we don't get obstructive lung disease so lovely summary is given here well but we'll discuss in great detail also the correct answer is anterior uveitis okay so let's cut discuss more about ankylosing spondylitis is it insidious onset below the age of 40 or 45 years symptom more than 3 months it has to be but in ra it should be more than how much time write down the answer in ra the symptom should be more than how many time what time 6 weeks here we have 3 months relieve with exercise but not with rest this is same with ra also this is the feature of all inflammatory arthritis nocturnal pain is a feature so we are getting that in this case we are getting sacroiliitis is the earliest joint to involve that's why they come with the low back ache reduce chest expansion and reduce spinal motility mobility reduce spinal mobility and again a question for you tell me what clinical clinical test we do to see for the reduced spinal mobility write down the answer in your copy which the clinical test we do answer is scoba test anthesis tenderness at the attachment of uh, attachment of of tendon to bone now again write down the answer which three tendons are most important which can lead to anthesis write down the answer which tendon are most commonly involved in ankylosing spondylitis three very very important tendoachylitis plantar fascia
which can lead to plantar fasciitis, costochondritis, They are the three important tendons which are usually so they can lead to uh, heel pain, ankle pain, heel pain and the pain chest. Dactylitis, swelling of finger and toes and uveitis. In fact, uveitis is the most common, it's the most common extra articular manifestation. Manifestation of ankylosing spondylitis. Complication osteoporosis, and that can lead to vertebral fracture. AR and cord equina, this all because the vertebra can get fracture, and that can lead to cord equina. Now, again, a question for you write down the answer in your copy. Those patients who have cord equina, they classically they have a, some sensory disturbance. What is that area known as? Okay, what is that area known as where the sensory disturbance occur in cerc in cord equina? Answer is saddle. Saddle shape. Okay. Elevated ESR and CRP, they are the simply non-specific, but they are marker of inflammation. Actually, B27 association is a very, very important point that you don't forget. X-ray of the sacroiliac joint is the first to be done, but it's the most accurate. Most accurate test to diagnose AS is, is MRI of spine. Now, this was the basic concept that we learned. The patient in this question has low backache, stiffness that improves the activity. Okay. And warm shower, non steroidal agent suggestive of inflammatory backup. Here, the reduced spinal range of movement is very, very important point with one point which really indicates that we are dealing with ankylosing spondylitis. X ray shows arthritis and erosive involving sacroiliac joint. If you look into the X ray once again, you can see the sacroiliac joint is, is erosion are seen. And this is what we diagnostic of one of the very important diagnostic finding for a case of ankylosing spondylitis, sacroiliac joint. The incidence is highest in the age of 20 to 30 years, very, very important. ES never manifest after first time manifestation after 45 years. Then it is not a case of ankylosing spondylitis. And they have a strong association with HLA B27. Anterior uveitis is the most common extra articular manifestation. It can occur in as high as 25 to 40 percent. It's fairly high, fairly high. And do remember that this belongs to ankylosing spondylitis belong to seronegative arthritis. Seronegative arthritis. This uveitis can occur in most cases of any seronegative arthritis. Okay, now one more question for you. Write down the answer in your copy quickly. What are the other examples of seronegative arthritis other than ankylosing spondylitis? Other example of seronegative arthritis. And in the meantime, I just to inform you, seronegative means they are rheumatoid factor is negative. That's the meaning of seronegative arthritis. So, the other example of seronegative arthritis are psoriatic arthritis. Re Retus disease, also called reactive arthritis. Arthritis occurring in inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis and Crohn disease. They are the, some of the other example of seronegative arthritis. In these, all these cases, uveitis can occur. Now, coarctation of aorta, aortic coarctation is associated with aortic valve, typically AR, 
Ankylosing spondylitis is associated with aortic valve disease. Okay, aortic AR is most common. They can have MVP also. They can have MR also. But coarctation is associated with Turner syndrome, not with ankylosing spondylitis. Epistylitis is an inflammation in the white of eye without involvement of the uveal tract. And this is a feature of rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. And it may be there in inflammatory bubble disease also, but definitely it is very uncommon to be associated with ankylosing spondylitis. It's not. It's more of a feature of rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, there can be scleritis also. Scleritis also. Now come the gold medal question is there. Tell me the patient has involvement of sclera. In a patient of rheumatoid arthritis, scleritis, episcleritis, that sclera is involved. Now this patient is can have which dangerous complication of the eye? Write down the answer in your copy. The question is, we have a patient of RA whose sclera is involved. It can lead to which problem? Quickly write down. It can lead to rupture of the eyeball. Rupture of eyeball. Because of, because of scleromalacia. There can be scleromalacia. That can lead to rupture of the eyeball. Well, I hope you like the session. Just to inform you, we have following courses for you. Smart Medicine. There are 350 hours of pre-recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine. It includes all super specialty and allied subject, covering A to Z, including basic concept about every topic. Second, we have tests and discussion. There are more than 1,000 questions which, with discussion of the questions, sample question and discussion you saw in this session. Now, third thing is Medicine Simplified, which is a textbook of medicine. Harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine, but it is too vast. Reading one page of Harrison, you need half an hour. To understand, you need two hours, but you need only two minutes to forget what was written in that page. Then what is the solution? We have Medicine Simplified. It's a textbook of medicine, but so-called mini Harrison. It's a summary of what you need to read from Harrison. The book is available in Amazon also. Now, these three things are more than enough for your MD, DNB medicine and family medicine final exam preparation, need SS exam preparation. You don't need to read any other book. These three are complete in all the aspects. For more detail, you can contact at this number. It's a mobile ad as well as WhatsApp. And this is my personal email ID. Anybody want to reach to me, you can contact me at this email ID. So thank you very much. God bless all of you.